Welcome to Getting Started with Game Creators, third episode. In this video, we'll dig into the second visual scripting component, conditions. Conditions are components attached to game objects that evaluate clauses from top to bottom and execute its associated action as soon as a clause returns success. A clause is a collection of conditions. For a clause to be true, all conditions inside must be true. When a conditions object is executed, it starts checking the conditions first clause. If it returns success, it executes its actions. If a condition is not successful, then evaluates the next clause. If none of the clauses return success, a fallback actions component can be executed. Let's take as an example the chest from the previous video. We had an actions object that opened a chest. Right now, we can execute the action multiple times, giving the player an infinite amount of coins. What we want is to execute it just once, regardless of how many times we try to execute it afterwards. To do so, we can use a conditions component that checks whether the global variable chest open is true or false. If it's false, we execute the previous actions. If it's true, we print a message in the console saying, the chest is already open. We need to set the chest open variable to true after opening the chest. There's nothing executing this condition at the beginning. So we'll create a new actions component and use the call conditions instruction to debug them. Let's click play and see that. The first time we execute the conditions, it opens the chest. And if we do it again, it just prints the message. 